It truly is a special place, a stadium every football fan should visit should he or she get the chance. The Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Real Madrid and they face Elche. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Tony Kors starts with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well-drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two fours who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. A potentially absorbing contest as Real Madrid get things going. Modric. Vinicius Junior. And now Rodrigo. Space and time for the cross. Mastery of the passing game. Oh, but they've lost it now. Well, Real Madrid can score goals from all conceivable angles. Just look at the record to back that up. Well, in attack, they've been so fluid at home. They just know exactly where the next pass should be going. They've got such a great understanding of the game plan, and a lot of credit has to go to the coaching staff. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Fidel. Mascarel. Marconi on the ball. Still passing it around with authority. Lucas Perez. Lucas Perez. Can he put them in front? Oh no, he's missed the opportunity! And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Lucas Perez, and with that, the attack fizzles out. Vinicius Junior, options in the centre, Benzema, opportunity to take the lead. Pretty straightforward defending, dealing with that cross, and a tidy challenge. Mascarel. Boyer has it. Lucas Perez. A fine use of the ball. But then the one that goes astray. Karim Benzema. It's with Vinicius Junior. A bit again there to take it away.
Superbly read and executed. Eder Militao. Now with Benzema. Rodrigo. Benzema. Stiffing away. Vinicius. And very adept at holding the ball up in this manner. Vinicius Junior. Cleared away comprehensively. Benzema. Well, Real Madrid has certainly dominated the ball, as you can see, but without really creating too many chances, which when you look at the players out on the pitch, it's really disappointing. They need to play with far more urgency to win this game. Get again there to intercept. Karim Benzema. Vinicius Junior, strong play here to keep the ball, to wait for the support, and a struggle to get it away properly. So at half-time, the two teams find themselves on level terms. Interested, Stuart, to know what you've made of Real Madrid's performance in particular. Yeah, we've been lauding their attack in play, but today they've just been below their... The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Fidel. And here is Omar Mascarel. Ivan Marconi. Now Mascarel. Enzo Rocco. It's with Rocco. And here is Omar Mascarel. Fidel. Mascarel. It's with Rocco. Ivan Marconi. Disappointing pass. Modric. And the attack looks promising. Casemiro. And threading it forward. We had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. Fidel. Lucas Perez with it. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. This wasn't a very good pass, finally. Well, he's allowed it to go over the touchline, so a throw-in. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. A story. Can he put it away? And with that, they thwarted the opportunity. <laughs> and over it comes. Can he put it away? And still looking for space, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Modric. What can Real do from this position? Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. Well, just a warning on this occasion. Might have decided to hand out the yellow card. And a substitution in the offing.
he calls wet into bounce. Well, he was being closely watched. Goal kick. Well, the defender knew he couldn't get to the ball first, but he just did enough to put him off there. And out Mini Tau. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Benzema. And it might be Tully Cross. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. But nothing comes of it. Hazard. On to Benzema. Marco Asensio. He could pick out a teammate. Can he do it? Mendy. And just look at their supporters. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? A story. They're showing a willingness to attack as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Tony Kroos on to Benzema Marco Asensio Mendy committed challenge and that is that the end of the game it goes into the books as a win for Real Madrid what did you think of their overall